it. And Jonathan. Well, he's got a touch of the Leonardo da Vinci's. Jonathan, you're not supposed to be making flying machines. It's not a flying machine. <laughs> not yet, anyway. What's it going to do? This is our parabolic surface, which we're going to cover in mirrors, uh, which is going to collect the sun. Parabolic surface? That's yeah. not the sort of wood you've used, presumably. No, the actual shape is a thing called a parabola. Right. Which is a mathematical shape. And it has this amazing property that when light hits the surface... Just imagine this is covered in mirrors. Yeah. It's always reflected to the same point. So if the light hits, if a bit of the light hits here, it gets yeah. reflected to that point. A bit of the light hits here, it gets reflected to that point, and so on. And the same this side as yeah. well. So, so it's perfect, is it? A perfect arc, effectively. Yeah, it's a special shape called a parabola, which has this special property. And the, the amazing thing about it is if we have something here we want to heat, we're effectively heating it with all the light captured here and here and here. So we're, we're putting all the sunlight that's captured over this surface onto one spot. So the, the salt water will go to your magic point? Yeah, there's this, this magic point, the focus point, as it's yeah. called, is where we'll put the, the salt water in the container. Put maybe a tin box. I'm not sure, we haven't decided on that yet. And then all the sunlight collected by this will be focused to and heat it. So, and that's your boiler, hopefully. Once the evaporated steam cools back down to pure water, it'll be collected, free from salt and impurities, in theory. To keep the process going all day, Jonathan's made a turning base so the parabola can move and track the sun across the sky.